A stay at home order has forced almost all entertainment venues across the Central Valley to close. The Madeira drive in is one of the few still allowed to operate under the state's guidelines. Now they have some new blockbusters to play, but they're competing with what some might call the future of movie releases at home streaming. Reporter Gilbert McGowan from our ABC affiliate in Fresno explains how the pandemic has altered the movie going experience. A new movie release is pumping new excitement into the Madeira drive-in. Hi, sir. For what movie tonight? It will be for Wonder Woman, please. For Wonder Woman? They're one of the only theaters currently open in all of the San Joaquin region. The pandemic has made new movie releases scarce, especially when it comes to blockbuster films, making today feel a little more special for moviegoers. But owner Bob Grant says it's troubling that Wonder Woman 1984 is simultaneously streaming at home, which translates to less sales. It's very tight and um, we're not even breaking even, but we're, we're doing better than most. Life is full of possibilities. Disney's Pixar film Soul also premiered Christmas Day, but bypassed its theatrical release and went straight to streaming. Grant says that's just the tip of the iceberg. He owns four indoor theaters that have gone unused most of 2020, adding to his losses. This is my tro chosen career, and uh, there's been several times where I've questioned myself. His two drive-ins, which only operate in the summer, had to stay open so he could stay afloat. This also means dealing with unfamiliar weather conditions like the fog, which has resulted in canceled show times. The drive-ins can operate in snow and rain and a little bit of sleep, but as soon as you get the fog with the, all the moisture particles, the light cannot project through it. Most concerning for Gran is the future of his business and the film industry as a whole. Gran says at-home movie releases will impact recovery. He doesn't think everyone will bounce back. Look at AMC, Regal, the big boys. They've all had to refinance, and they're still on the verge of bankruptcy. But Grant says he's here to stay, and his drive-in will continue to serve the community as an escape from reality.